Good afternoon. We're standing here in Selby Court, which is a very lovely little cul-de-sac of bungalows just on the southern edge of Haywardsea Town Centre. It's actually located off of Ashen Ground Road, so as you come up the cul-de-sac from the southern end there, you come into the close. But it's a nice little close. There's 17 of these little bungalows, and uh, I often get asked by people saying, oh, when, would, when do those retirement bungalows come on the market? And I can assure you now, they're not retirement bungalows. They are bungalows for people that are retired, but we have a good mix of uh, people living here. Our clients are actually quite young, um, but it's a lovely little cul-de-sac. And the nice thing about it is, you would have thought if it was one of these retirement complexes, you'd be paying a great big service charge. And the nice thing here is you don't. This is all freehold. You own your house, you maintain your own garden. Um, and obviously everyone does their little bit in the close as well. So here we are. So we're going to look at number 14, which is this uh, staggered terrace. So number 12 next door is set back a bit further, but this one is the one in the middle with a high gable. Now the other bonus is it owns these two parking spaces. So the white car and the other one with number 14 on it. So you've got two spaces. And as you can see, everyone around here, it's not cluttered with cars or lots of vehicles. So come and have a look around. Just outside while we're here, there's a little useful under, well, little uh, adjoining uh, store, but it's been an old bin store. This little shed here is the owner's uh, used that for his mobility scooter. So come and have a look at number 14, Selby Court. So first things first, we've got the entrance hall with the, um, the entrance porch, should I say, with the uh, porthole window, a handy bit of storage. Apologies, but I've lost my voice. I was helping out on the bike ride yesterday and uh, encouraging people, I've lost my voice. So firstly, the big living room. It's a nice sized room. Now the, the owners have only been here a few years and they have literally had everything redecorated, new carpets and flooring, and it is absolutely spotless. And they've done various upgrades. Here you've got a kitchen. This is all ultra modern. Lots of storage cupboards in here and a nice big window overlooking the cold set to the front various built-in appliances. They did have a little built-in fridge with a tiny freezer, so they had that converted back into a cupboard and obviously have a freestanding fridge freezer. That's not included. And as you can see, double oven with a gas hob as well. And then come through, it's got that flexibility. So through to the in inner hall, you've got a big airing cupboard there. In fact, I won't open that, but that's a lovely big airing cupboard. And then the bathroom has been replaced with this fab shower room. So really contemporary style shower. You've got a handheld shower and the overhead water waterfall vanity unit, and it's all fully tiled. This was revamped just before they came, but they've done a few changes as well. And then bedrooms, you've got the main bedroom, which is a nice size double, overlooking the gardens. And then this one, you've got a great big built-in double wardrobe as well. And then the back bedroom, as you can see, it's got to put you up bed, but this is a nice little bedroom, or like a lot of people, they want it as a home office, you might want to use this as a dining room, or another lovely little TV room. And then this has got the doors out to the garden. And the garden has been paved, so it's very much a low maintenance garden. They've got a few flower beds, but if you wanted to take these paving slabs up and put a, uh, a turf down, you could. Handy big summer house, that's included. They're happy to leave that. Useful sort of covered area at the back and another flower bed. And this garden is fully enclosed. It measures 30 feet deep by about 22 feet wide. And we're here around mid after, well, mid, just after lunchtime uh, in May. Uh, it's north facing at the back, but when you've got a garden, when you've got such a low rise of buildings around you, this is getting sunshine. Look at this, this is glorious. And the sun is up there at the moment and it'll set over to the west in that direction. So it rises in the east over the summer house swings round, hence the strategic location of the summer house, taking advantage of all the, all the sun right to the last point of the day. But there you go, that's number 14 Selby Court. You're just on the edge of the town centre. You can walk round the corner to the shops. Uh, the railway station is 1.1 miles. It's for sale through Mansell, McTaggart and Haywards Heath. So if you'd like to have a look, please give them a call. And if you are seriously looking for a property, do follow us on YouTube, because our videos are available on YouTube way before they are on things like Right Move. Thank you very much for watching.